Good morning guys, this is David with Sheepdog Services here in beautiful South Mississippi. Today I'm gonna finish up that uh, landscaping job from yesterday. I'm gonna go pick up some mulch right now and some landscaping fabric. I'm gonna put that down and we should be done with that one. The uh, customer did okay the other part that I was telling you about with the bushes around the tree and all, but they wanna wait until somebody can um, advise them on the, that tree whether or not they can do anything to bring it back to life or what because if they can't they're gonna have me cut it down and i'm gonna pull everything up and just put side down i think i think that's what they're gonna want me to do um either way i'm waiting to find out on it um still waiting on a couple other things i'm still waiting on the guy about the trees whether or not uh he says i got it he's just waiting on a few other things to uh to come through for him i guess i don't know but we're going to take care of that as well uh real quick if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet man go ahead and do so i really appreciate it to everybody who has and uh if you like this kind of content hit that uh that, that thumbs up for me all right y'all hang tight and we'll get this stuff on the road guys that is a lot of mulch I decided to go ahead and go with the uh, bag mulch because it'd be, I think it's gonna be easier for me. I don't actually have a, a dump trailer or a big landscaping trailer. All I gotta just open sides and I gotta get on the interstate and I'd rather, I think I'd rather have it all in bags so I don't lose any of it. So, y'all hang tight, we'll get on, we'll get all the stuff. All right guys, so we're back here where all the, where we did all the cleanup, the bushes and everything. I'm about to put down some landscaping fabric. I got my pallet of uh, mulch. Man, I am super excited about this, especially, the, I'm just super excited about the way it's gonna turn out. And, uh, man, that's something. If y'all ain't excited about the work that you're doing, why are you doing it? You should be excited about it. If you're not, then this ain't what you're supposed to be doing. You need to go find what you're supposed to be doing. That's, that's, that's anything with life, too. If, uh, if you ain't doing what you were meant to be doing, what are you doing? Go get it after all right anyway i'm about to start laying all this stuff out i'm waiting on matt to show up he's running a little bit behind i think but uh well obviously yes he ain't here i had to get a new hat too guys i'm wearing the gravely hat i know it don't match very well but i had to put something on my head or either get burnt the other one i threw in the washing machine and well kind of shrunk anyway i'm getting to work i'm gonna put y'all on time lapse again and uh we're gonna see what we can get done all right All right, guys, so you're in the middle of watching the video and you probably wonder why I'm stopping it and interrupting it. I wanna leave y'all with a quote. I'm gonna start doing this, I think, in my videos. So this one here is kinda, it kinda spoke to me whenever I was debating on whether or not I was gonna start my business or not. And that quote is, you can have more than you got because you can become more than you are. On the flip side, you will always, unless you change who you are, You'll always have what you got. Now that spoke to me and that meant a lot to him. It took me a while to actually understand what it meant. If you're content with everything that you got and you don't do anything to better yourself anymore, you're always gonna have that same amount of, whether it be financially, whether it be respect from other people, whether it's respect for yourself, unless you change what you're doing you're always going to have what you have but you can have more than what you got because you can become more than what you are if you change your mindset and you decide that you're going to go out you're going to you're going to hustle. You're going to grind it out until you get what you were wanting to get. Until you reach your goals. Then you'll have more than what you have right now. You may go through some hard times. And you may, you may wish to God that you probably would have stayed where you were at at one time or another. But whenever you reach that finish line, 
when you get to that goal, whenever you complete what you're trying to trying to reach for, it'll be the best feeling that you've had. Best feeling of accomplishment that you'll ever have. All right. Want to leave you with that? I think I'm going to start throwing these little, little things in there to each uh, video. Let me know what you think about them, whether you think I should or not. Um, but anyway, back to the video. it ain't done we still gotta come back through here and clean up all these edges make it all look nice and neat get some of this uh, little green stuff out i'm gonna haul off all these little little piles here but you know if you stand back if you remember yesterday's video i'll probably put a before and after on here man it looks so much better it looks beautiful oh, i think so and it still ain't even done yet we still ain't done the final touches Got all the edges up in here to get cleaned up. Got, got all that little stuff to be picked out. It's no biggie. We're gonna get it taken care of. We put landscape fabric down under all this here. All you gotta do is just cut an X, cut an X on top of it, and then stuff everything up under it. Same way over here. All right. We're almost done. We'll give you another one in just a minute. Another uh, look at it here in just a second. Can't even have nice things out here. Look what Brown done did to my wheelbarrow. Look, look at that. It was it was perfectly fine until he started using it. I tell you, these employees around here, they just they just don't have no respect for for people's stuff. It ain't theirs. They just drive it like they stole it. <laughs> All right, guys. There's the final product. I think it looks pretty good. Still waiting on them to let me tear into this. I got a, a tree doctor coming. I think they're gonna contact him today. Uh, we about determined that is a uh, a water uh, site. Oh, uh, can't think of the name of it now. Dang it! But there's the other side over there. Everything looking good. About to load everything up and call it a day. I think I might go cut another yard or so. But we'll figure that out a little bit. That's yeah. Not, that was just me. All right, guys, real quick. First, I know he watches some Matt. Man, I appreciate everything that you've done. You're always helping me. You're always working hard. You never complain, whether it be here at, at my lawn business or whether it be at the Sheriff's Department. Man, I'm, I, I'm really glad that you, uh, you moved down here and we got to meet. So, uh, great job. Keep it up. I really appreciate you. Second, uh, instead of going out and cutting another lawn today, I, uh, I decided to go and pick up an early Mother's Day gift for my wife. She's, uh, she said time and time again that she wanted a front porch swing. 
So I went and I uh, picked her up a front porch, porch swing. And there's Luke right there, just chill. Oh, you know, he's the camera shot now. Anyway, it's one of the gliders. It's made of cedar, so they said it ain't. So you don't have to seal it with anything, but I still may put a uh, a clear coat or something another on it just so it stays protected. But I ain't gonna tell her that I got it. She's either gonna notice it when she comes home, or either she's gonna see that I got it whenever she watches the video. So anyway, that's gonna be it until next time, gentlemen and ladies. Uh, I don't know when it's gonna be or what what's next on the agenda. I gotta work tomorrow, but you know, I may get out here and try to trim up some of these trees in the yard. But uh if you like this kind of content, as always, hit that subscribe button for me and then give me a big thumbs up on on the on this video as well. All right, y'all take it easy and we'll see you next time.